How can you build a successful YouTube channel from scratch? Hey there, I'm Tracy Rose and in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing with a brand new channel that we're growing from scratch. I could say all the things that I've done in the past to get over a million views on YouTube, but this time we're gonna show you in real time as the year goes ahead, what we're actually doing to build this channel. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. So make sure you've subscribed to my channel and click that bell notification and also give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Let's get into it. Let me show you exactly what I've done to first of all set up the channel. Two of the most important things that I think are crucial to you building your channel successfully and how there's a real plan and strategy behind everything that we do. Okay, so you can do this with any kind of channel that you think is going to grow on YouTube. There is lots of different niches that you can do. Service-based business, product reviews, tutorial style channels. That's what I'm doing with my daughter's channel. She started making YouTube videos on making slime videos and that is her big passion and she's actually growing a slime business so let's head over to the computer and have a look how I've actually set this up. We've set it up we've done some cool branding here I went and created this little banner in Canva and it's not so much about you know the fanciest logo or anything like that just something that brands your channel that shows you what the actual channel is about and kind of gives people the look and the feel of what they can expect. So obviously this is a kids channel and so we've made it cute and bright colors. It's all about slime. She's just started. She's only got 67 subscribers which is so cute because you know these came from scratch and then we've got some videos here and if you have a look you can see there's sort of a certain style to the videos. We've chosen the colors that we wanted and there's a certain style and obviously she's a kid so she's going to do videos that she wants to do and of course I want to let her do that because she's having heaps of fun but I have talked to her about doing specific video topics because I know from my keyword research and my YouTube SEO skills that there are certain videos that are going to make her channel super popular and start ranking her up and coming up as suggested videos for people that are watching other stuff. So what we did was one of the first things that I suggest that people do is they go have a look at other channels in their niche that are really popular that you could kind of get ideas off and see what's already popular and getting potentially millions of views. So here's specifically what I did for her channel and she was already following these people. So all I had to do was like, who are your favorite slimers? What videos do you watch? And we went and had a look. So let me show you a couple of channels that I looked at and got some inspiration from. So I suggest that you go do the same in your niche, whether you are doing network marketing or maybe you're doing affiliate marketing, maybe you're a graphic designer and you're wanting to build a channel to get graphic design clients. Maybe you're a therapist. There's a lot of therapists here that, that have great channels and get a lot of clients from. I previously had a baby birth channel and that was how I got a lot of clients online. So let's go have a look at some other channels. Okay, let's have a look at some of the slime channels or some of the kids channels that are really, really popular in my daughter's age group because obviously she's targeting an audience that is around her age group or young kids or people who are kind of young at heart and love watching slime style or crafty kind of videos. So that's kind of who her target market is. So one of the people that she follows is Karina Garcia. You can see here she's got 9.12 million subscribers and I want to show you a couple more. There's Jillian Bauer, 2.47 million subscribers. And I want to show you this other channel because Mary and Izzy, they have a channel Life with Brothers. They have over half a million subscribers. But look at some of these videos, 20 million views. Like this is insane. So, and it's really funny because these are not super, super like fancy edited videos. So that's kind of a key there as well. But if you have a look at some of the popular ones, you can get some ideas on, okay, what's popular? How do they brand themselves? Can you be a little bit different? But I wanna show you something really, really clever that we did, okay? So when you come back to, let's say, Karina Garcia's um, YouTube channel, what I do is, so this is usually the, let's go back to the homepage where you would normally land. Well, that was the same. I then click over to videos, okay? And then over here on the right, you go sort by, and then you go most popular. So to really start to skyrocket your channel, you want to get 
you want to be doing topics that you know are already getting searched and winning for other channels. So if we have a look here, her top ones are ASMR, nail polish, look at this, 100 pounds of slime, DIY giant slime, how do not make slime in the dark challenge, uh, viral slimes tested, Dollar Tree slime. Uh, so we can get some ideas here. Okay, there's challenge videos there. So people love watching challenge videos. So she's going to start doing some challenges. Uh, there's another slime challenge challenge so you get some ideas of like mm, what's going on here okay let's have a look at Jillian's um, we can look here sort by and then most popular there we go the top ones DIY floppy slime 43 million views <laughs> do you think maybe you should go and do your own DIY floppy slime uh, for no glue slime so once I started to see all these sorts of things I started to notice you know what maybe we should go and make some slime that has no glue so it's not exactly copying but you're getting inspiration from and maybe it's using different products that were not used in this one Basically, I go in there, I look at their keywords, I look at what are the styles of, and trends of videos that are happening and getting lots of views. So that gives us some ideas on how to, what videos to do first. So even if there's some videos that you want to do, but they might not be that popular, really to kind of skyrocket your channel in the beginning is to go and do things that people are actually looking for already or asking those questions on YouTube and Google. So a way to find that out easily is to go look at mega popular channels and see are they doing those. So I'll share with you a couple of the keyword, long tail keywords and topics that we've come up with for Honey's channel and you can go and have a look at doing that too. Okay, so a couple of the keywords that we're going to go for in the niche of slime next is how to make fluffy slime without borax. It was getting 105 searches per month and I'm going to give you some details on how to do some keyword research below. I will leave some links of the resources that I specifically use. There's a couple. I know a lot of people do promote TubeBuddy. I also love using another keyword finder type tool and the reason is because it's just really easy to create lists and to like visually see it on the screen. YouTube SEO can sometimes for the average person get a little bit overwhelming and like oh too much data but I mean I love reading into it but there's certainly different tools that you can use that will be easier for you. I found a cool keyword that had 1.17 million searches per month and that is how to make giant slime bubbles. <laughs> Now this is quite a competitive keyword, but the thing is I don't care because I'm really good at doing the SEO and the SEO is not hard. It just takes time and most people can't be bothered to take the time to put it in. I have like a checklist of what I go through every time I edit a video and then I have a checklist of, okay, here's what I'm going to do when I upload a video. And most people kind of get a bit lazy and they don't do all that stuff. So if you do it, you are going to have more of a chance that Google is going to push you up those suggested videos or up the YouTube SEO rankings, hopefully on the first page of YouTube. So look for certain style of videos that are kind of going a bit crazy. Look on TikTok. Look at what's happening in the news. Can you do a video in your niche on a topic kind of utilizing what's happening in the world at the moment? So now two of the most important things to really make sure that your channel is going to be successful moving forward is one watch time so you really need to keep people on YouTube that's what YouTube wants they want you to stay on their platform as much as possible so if you can help your viewer stay on your video or continue to be involved in the YouTube platform YouTube is going to love you and they're going to push you up the search rankings they're going to make you a suggested video and that's the second thing you want to be a suggested video so even if you can't rank for a certain keyword or get your video on the YouTube homepage getting your video to be a suggested video is just as important now the way that you get in suggested videos is by doing your proper YouTube SEO. So that's putting in the right keywords, making sure that you are actually talking about that keyword. So not making your video clickbait. Now, one of the easiest ways to really skyrocket your YouTube channel this coming year is to be consistent. And the way that you're consistent, the easiest way that I have found to be consistent is to plan ahead and to batch my content. If I'm ahead in my videos, then I don't 
don't start to stress out and scramble and then not upload the videos on the days that I said I was going to upload. I know for my channel, I upload once a week, specifically on a certain day. But if I'm not ahead in my videos, so two to four videos ahead, I find that I get behind. We all get busy. I've got two kids, all the other stuff that kind of wants your attention in life. If you are ahead and you've planned ahead, so use different things like maybe Trello to come up with a workflow system or I know some people that use Asana. I'll link below all the resources that I use as always. So to give you an example with Honey's videos, let me show you over on my screen. I've got two in the works at the moment. So here's actually a video that I have going right now. I haven't finished editing it. I've got to put in the intro, but let me just show you quickly. Hi, it's Honey, and today we are going to be shopping for slime supplies at my favorite Aussie shop. And today I have my friend Jack here. Okay, so this is pretty cute. And then I've also got mine up here. And then I've got another one here I did for a vet. She was doing a corporate video for them. I was editing that. So like I said, if you're planning ahead, that is the easiest way to be consistent. So if you have kind of a workflow going on, you're planning ahead, you've committed to a day that you're going to film each week or each month. So at the moment I'm working with a company and we're going to be filming their videos once a month. Then you edit all on one day or over a couple of days, depending on how long it takes you. And so again, you know, it's being consistent, doing all the right things that YouTube wants you to do it's increasing watch time so keeping people on your videos longer so we've been doing longer videos as well than I previously did when I first started YouTube I was doing sort of three to five minute videos now we're sort of doing 10 to 15 minute videos don't feel like you have to do that but again you know YouTube does like people staying on their platform a whole lot longer <laughs> You can things use things like end cards to get people to watch another video of yours that will keep them on the platform longer as well. Being consistent, doing all the things that YouTube wants, planning ahead, batching your content, branding your channel, keeping to your niche and your topic. That was all going to help you build a successful channel in the year ahead. So I hope this video has helped you today and inspired you to know that you can go and do it and build your channel and be successful on YouTube too. I would love to know your suggestions and comments of what you found that has helped your channel be successful or maybe you've heard some tips from somebody else I'd love to hear them in the comments below and please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell so that you know when I upload a new video every single week thanks for watching I really appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video bye